and welcome to Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the Upper Midwest region. It's the week of April 20th, 2009, and I'm Jenna Hartwig Wade. State regulators held hearings in Elk Point, South Dakota, on the draft air quality permit for the proposed Hyperion Energy Project. It would refine 400,000 barrels of Canadian tar sands oil each day for gas and diesel, according to the Sioux Falls Argus Leader. It would be the first new refinery in the U.S. since 1976. Some attendees expressed concern about the project's pollutants and public health. Its estimated cost is $10 billion. The Iowa Policy Project has released a report showing the state now produces 15% of its energy from wind, according to Radio Iowa. The organization also noted that this hasn't caused the price of electricity to go up. Wisconsin legislators have reintroduced a bill to standardize the rules for locating wind projects in the state, according to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Right now, cities and counties are allowed to create restrictive ordinances. Making the wind siting rules uniform could eliminate those obstacles. Ryan Scriver of the Clean Wisconsin said, This bill is an easy way for legislators to create jobs in our state at almost no expense to the taxpayer. Wind development projects stand shovel ready. Michigan-based ITC Holdings has moved a step forward on its proposed Green Power Express. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission approved its return on investment. The transmission project would connect 3,000 miles of lines throughout the Midwest. It would carry 12,000 megawatts of wind energy, enough to power 3.6 million homes, according to the Sioux Falls Argus Leader. The American Wind Energy Association has released a new report. It shows Minnesota's Excel Energy leads investor-owned utilities in how much wind power it produces. According to the Minneapolis-St. Paul Business Journal, Excel has 3,000 megawatts of capacity online. It's the fourth year in a row Excel has placed first. The North Dakota Health Department has extended the public comment period for GTL Energy's proposed coal drying plant at South Heart. People can now give feedback until May 8. Great Northern Power Development earlier this month pulled out of the Lignite Processing Project. However, the utilities say the project will still go forward. Illinois officials have announced high-speed rail lines could be operational three years after President Obama allocates the funds, according to the Chicago Tribune. A trip to, from St. Louis to Chicago at 110 miles per hour would take less than four hours. That's about an hour short th shorter than driving. Other routes could go to Milwaukee, Detroit, Minneapolis, Cleveland, and Louisville. And that's it for this week. For more on these stories, go to reamp.org. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thank you for being with us, and please join us next week.